Hello everyone, I have built a machine learning model recently and the name of the model is water quality analysis. So the objective of this project is to analyze what all are the values or what all are the chemicals that are present in the water. So you can see here there is hardness, solids, chloramine, sulfate, pH value of the water, conductivity and organic carbon and some more like it. The objective is to analyze that if all the values are present in the water or not. And the main reason for building this machine learning model is when we give a data set, it has to analyze that if the water is portable or not. That means the water is available to drink or not. If the value is zero, the water is not good. And if the portability value is one, the water is good to drink. So these all are the attributes that are there in the data set. The first process in my machine learning model is to gather the data. I have gathered the data set from Kaggle. I have downloaded it directly. And the second step is to import the libraries and make the machine learning model able to read the data set. I have impl imported pandas, numpy, matplotlib and seaborn which I used in the later parts of this machine learning model. And for now, the first thing that we use is pandas using which I have asked the machine learning model to read the data set. The machine learning model is able to read the data set so that it has given the first five values when I have entered df.head. That means the first five values will be displayed. And as you can see, the first five values, the machine learning model is able to read the data. And the second step in the machine learning model is exploratory data analysis. In this part, the data will be cleaned and the data will be analyzed deeply so that if there is any unwanted or useless data, it can be removed directly. It can be something like you can see directly here as there are some null values in the data set as there will be noise in the data set. Obviously, I have asked the machine learning model to know exactly what number of unwanted or missing values are there, are there in the data set. It said pH values are 491 pH values are missing. Chloramine 781, trihalomethanes 162 and remaining all are fine. We will eliminate this in the coming parts of this project. As of now, we get to know deeply about the data set. So we have asked information about the data set and it has given the data types and the memory that the data set has used. Moving forward here, we will remove the missing values from the data set. As there are 491 null values for pH, we have removed all of them here for everything. So now the data set is cleared and there are no missing values. So that means the data set can be used to create a machine learning model. Now we get to know the portability count in the data set. Portability is a column in the data set that I have taken. And in the coming parts, I'll drop the portability column so that the machine learning model will be able to predict and analyze if the water is portable or not. So that is our major objective. Here 1998 values are zero and 1278 values says one. We are plotting the portability and you can see this here. Now we will plot the distribution plot and it for pH values we have plotted here. And here we have plotted for every attribute that is there in the data set for pH, hardness, solids, chloramines, and every data set, every attribute that is in the data set that I've taken. You can see everything here, including portability. Here we have plotted the heat map for the data set that we have taken. And you wonder the ones that you see here, this is because of hyperparameter tuning. We have plotted this heat map because we are using the decision tree classifier, which you will get to know in a short time. Moving forward, yes, you can see here, I have imported train test split from sklearn.model selection. This train test split helps machine learning model to divide the data set into two parts. One is training part and the second is testing part. Using the training part, we will train the machine learning model and the trained machine learning model will be given a test data that is the divided data that we have divided earlier. That data will be given to the trained machine learning model and will be evaluated if the model is able to work or not. We have used decision tree classifier to train the data. 
and we have applied hyperparameter tuning. Before that, I have taken some values directly from the data set and ask the machine learning model to predict if it is working or not. And all these values are in the data set. So the machine learning value, machine learning model has given me the output as one so that it is true. It has said true. So the machine learning model is working here. I have applied hyperparameter tuning. So you can see here, these values are because of hyperparameter tuning. Because of hyperparameter tuning, those values are tuned in such a way that they will give output as one. And this is the last step of the machine learning model that is to predict the training and testing score. Here, the machine learning model has given the training score of 82% and testing score of 59.6%. I'll explain it to you clearly. That means the machine learning model is able to get trained, able to learn the data with an accuracy of 82% and it is able to give output with an accuracy of 59.6%. That means the output that the machine learning model has given will be accurate for up to 60%. So this is my machine learning model, which I have created using decision tree classifier. And you can find the GitHub link of the project of the model and the data set in the description below. Thank you everyone. Happy learning.